Hello there. Uh, I hope that you can hear me. I hope my audio is coming through. Uh, it certainly seems to be, judging from the dots moving backwards and forwards on the bottom of my screen. Uh, this rather impromptu live video is here because I wanted to make a couple of exciting announcements. Uh, one is related to the Lunar's Fangs at the Gate Kickstarter for Exalted 3rd Edition that is currently running. It is very, very nearly at, and I'll just double check, it's very, very nearly at, uh, I believe, $200,000. Uh, um, and I will just make sure that is the case. I don't want to be uh, telling you a fib. Yep, that's right, nearly at $200,000, which is immensely impressive and uh, i can only say thank you to everyone who has backed that kickstarter so far uh there's still a few days left to go on it uh specifically 15 so it means you've got plenty of time left to back if any of the tiers for backing have disappeared that you're interested in please do leave a comment on the kickstarter back at a low level leave a comment on the kickstarter say what you're interested in we can always appraise these things we can always reappraise these things but that isn't why i'm here i'm not just here to talk about the kickstarter i'm here to talk about another thing we're doing attached to the kickstarter and that is a character creation video we know a lot of people enjoy watching characters get created because it helps them understand the game. It helps them understand the concepts behind a game such as uh, Lunars for Exalted. And so on next Monday, that's Monday, uh, Monday the 4th of March at 9 p.m. GMT or 2100 hours GMT if you prefer, Neil Raymond Price will be taking me through character creation for Lunar's Fangs at the Gate. Now, I have very little knowledge of Exalted, so he's going to be holding my hand, taking me through it, and we would love for you to be able to tune in live. It will be broadcasted live just like this video is going out right now, so you will be able to have some input on the decisions that I make for my character. Neil will give me the guidance, we'll work through the manuscript that is available to backers of the Lunar's Kickstarter, and we'll make a character together. Should only take around an hour or so, uh, maybe a bit less, but hopefully it will be a nice, fun, interactive, dynamic experience that will maybe help you uh, make up your mind about whether to back Lunar's and get a bit excited about the game. So that's my exalted news. There's a bit of fun we've got going next week, and with the Kickstarter rolling on, I think it's fair to say that exalted is doing nicely. The other bit of news that I had relates to Chronicles of Darkness, as you may have been able to glean from the title, and it's the Contagion Chronicle. Now, the Contagion Chronicle, if you're unfamiliar, is the crossover game for Chronicles of Darkness. It is the game that crosses over vampires, werewolves, mages, mummies, geists, the Sin Eaters, Promethean, and all the rest to, be, to allow them to be played in the same group. Now, theoretically, you've always been able to do this with Chronicles of Darkness, but the Contagion Chronicle is the book that gives you the mechanics to make it worth doing and to give you the justification for these groups, these disparate groups, to actually work together. It's a lovely combination of system and setting. You've got, I think, 12 different locations around the globe with different strains of Contagion, but the reason I'm talking about the Contagion Chronicle is because after the Lunar's Kickstarter concludes, maybe not immediately, but after it concludes, we will be running a Kickstarter for the Contagion Chronicle. So if Chronicles of Darkness is your thing, if banding a mummy, a werewolf, a changeling, and a beast together into the same group is your thing, Contagion Chronicle may be something that interests you. And what's more, we're not done with Contagion Chronicle yet, which I imagine you could expect to see hitting Kickstarter March, April time. But we're not done with it yet, because I am going through some of the uh, elements of Contagion Chronicle in my own actual plays. Now that it's been approved by White Wolf, that means I'm allowed to roll out some of the information that is within the manuscript, information you will get to see if you back the Kickstarter. And we have already gone through a couch creation session, myself and four players. We have a group coming up that comprises a werewolf, a beast, a changeling, and a Promethean, all in the same group. They will be participating in a Contagion Chronicle game 
We'll run several sessions of it. We will upload content of it to this channel. And the character creation is already done. So I'm going to be editing that video down and putting it up as an audio only uh, on this channel. But I may be able to uh, put it up somewhere as a podcast if you prefer to download it as an MP3. And one of the most remarkable things about this is these players, while they are familiar with Chronicles of Darkness, I have never seen players create characters so so uh, harmoniously. And within two hours, uh, so we managed to create four different characters for four different games, ultimately to come together for the Contagion Chronicle. They are all completed within a two-hour time slot, which isn't too bad for a uh, game that, of this size. So that video will also be coming up on this channel and subsequently you'll start seeing actual plays of the Contagion Chronicle before its release. So just like this Lunar's Kickstarter video, you will hopefully receive a bit of a tease that might entice you to back the game, check it out when it's released, or just ask away any of our questions, or any questions you may have for us, I should say. So I can see that uh, we've actually got a few questions in the live chat. I'm not going to be here for long for this uh, for this video because I've got an Onyx Pathcast to record with my uh, co-hosts Dixie Cochran and Andy Webb. If you're watching this, hello you too. I will be with you in approximately 15 minutes. But if anyone who's watching this live now, I know it's a relatively inhospitable time for the US, but if you're in Europe or if you're in the UK like me, you may well be watching this live. Anyone who is watching this live now, do you have any questions about anything I've been speaking about or any upcoming releases? Something I might be able to tell you about. Now is the time to ask and for me to shoot your question down. If nothing comes in, while I'm rambling on, then you'll just have to wait until the next one of these. Anyone have any questions for me? Mm, it doesn't look like it. Other than people are saying, oh, I'm being called a hero by someone. That's very nice. And I'm glad you love character creation videos, Mega Zarak. Uh, Weird and quirky is Mark the Calendar for the Lunar's Kickstarter character creation video. And a lot of people are offering to throw money at me. Well, I'm never going to turn that down. Obviously, these products are being kickstarted by Onyx Path Publishing. Oh, okay. Weird and Quirky asks, do I have an idea for what type of Lunar character you will play? That's a good question, because it isn't just restricted to werewolves, of course. You can be a shapeshifter of any kind of animal. And I'm thinking of going for something a little reptilian I think that might be fun. I'm thinking of going for some kind of uh, snake, maybe a Komodo dragon, perhaps a chameleon or something like that. That could be interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go cold-blooded reptile for this. And what Neil intends to do is create another character alongside um, maybe of a slightly stranger kind of species for a shapeshifter to come from. Well... I know this was impromptu. I didn't plan this. Uh, that's what impromptu means. Uh, and uh, obviously, this is slightly rushed because I've got the Onyx Pathcast to get to after this. But it's always fun to just drop onto this channel and occasionally throw out something live. So if you're in the area to check it out at the right time, good for you. And if not, ah, well, you can always check it after it's been uploaded. So if there's any other questions from the... Uh, 20 or so people watching live at this instant. You've got one more chance. One more chance, and then I'll be getting ready for the path cast. So the, t the clock is going to start ticking down, 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 down. If I had the countdown theme tune, that's a British thing. Uh, it would be playing right now. Okay. Well, in that case, leave any questions you have in the uh, recorded video, and I will reply to them as best as I'm able using the Onyx Path Publishing uh, ID on YouTube. So, yes. Oh, which Chronicle do you think using Bleeding Edge would be the most fun to play? Ooh, hmm, good question, Elliot Canada. Huh. You know, one of my favorites... Uh, Favorite games to take in completely different directions is probably the simplest 
which will be vampire because we can imagine vampires at various uh with various different tones and in different eras uh different levels of let's say cybernetics and things like that vampires hungering for human blood is a nice style that can apply at any point but it would be interesting to see how the undead might augment themselves likewise i think promethean would be a very interesting game to see played in bleeding edge style i mean i can imagine a lot of different lineages cropping up uh, but that's um going to be part of the fun of deviant while deviant isn't uh, isn't promethean you are going to see lots of characters who are created as things like cyborgs and uh, at the bleeding edge of technology so hopefully that answers your question good question i've never been asked that before and thank you very much for watching now i need to rather subtly find the stop broadcast button and wave you goodbye